in particular, on my third day in prison, I went out to the weight stack and it was the proverbial weight stack. I mean, it looked exactly like what you see in the movies, you know, and, and, I, and I went out there and I lay down on a bench to, um, um, because I didn't see anyone there. It was very early in the morning. I didn't see anyone there. And someone came up to me and said to me, um, are you planning on using that equipment? And I said, yeah, I guess I, I, I it was this laying there. And he said, when you're done, come, come talk to me. And um, my, my workout consisted of one lift. That's all I could do. <laughs> and believe me, when you're, when, when, if, when you first go to prison, everything's crazy, including your ability to work out. Everything is crazy. So after I did it, I went and saw him. And he said to me, if you'd like to use the equipment again tomorrow morning, go talk to your celly, you know, a celly is a, is a, is a roommate. A celly is someone who you share, a, share a, a space with. So I went back when the whistle went off, I crossed the compound and I went back to our unit and I said, and I told him what happened. And I said, this guy told me to come talk to you. And he said to me, he owns that, he owns that equipment during that time of day. And I said, he owns it. What, 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 what does that mean? And he said, well, you don't want to know how he acquired it. You don't want to know. All you know is that if you want to use that equipment during that time of day, you got to pay him for it. And I, I was shocked that there's a system in prison where you have to pay for everything. And I said, well, why didn't he just tell me that? And he said, he doesn't know you. He doesn't know if he doesn't know if you're a rat. He doesn't know if you're if you're if you're you're in there to set him up. So he's not going to talk to you. And I, I was shocked, Jane. I was like, of, of course it makes sense when you think about it, but there was no way for me to know that then. And it took me three months of basically walking the track because I walked the track 10 miles every day and I walked the track. And then after about three months, um, a shot caller came up to me. A shot caller in prison is someone who is the head of a, a group or the head of a gang. And I was walking around the track. And as I walked around the track, the shot cop caller was just standing there. And he looked at me and he said to me, he said to me, I hear you could be trusted. And I knew from being in prison for three months, I knew the, the right answer was to nod my head not to say anything. So I just nodded my head and he said, all right then. And the next day, as I'm walking the track, people started coming up to me and asking me legal advice. And they hadn't talked to me once for three months. That's how it works.